One such person is Mr. Caesar, Mitchell Caesar. He has been questioned by US law enforcement agency uh, recently, and uh, people are asking what's the nature of the questioning. Uh, Jack Deer seemed to be concerned about that and whether the line of questioning had anything to do with the Mohammeds, Azardine Mohammed, and so forth, uh, because serious allegations have been leveled against the Mohammeds. Very, very serious allegations, guys. And um, and if you recall the Reuters special report, U.S. probing Exxon contractor in Guyana, the Mohammed, uh, the father and the son. The father celebrated his birthday yesterday, I believe. Uh, yeah, it says U.S. probing Exxon contractor. They're no longer affiliated with Exxon. Viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News, where we discuss news about Guyana and the diaspora. Today we are going to address how controversial social media influencer Melly Mel is in serious trouble after our best friend revealed our darkest secret. And this secret A involves money, involves the police, and involves someone within the Ministry of Housing. You are not going to understand, you are going to shake your head when you find out how Melly Mel is dealing with this situation. Then we are going to address how a top member visa was taken away and detained by the FBI. And this person is no new person to controversy. Someone is going to explain this whole situation. Who really is Caesar? This person has a force and knowledge of dealing with Caesar. So you need to hear how this person is going to explain who is Caesar. Before we start, my fellow Guyanese, please smash the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Before we play the story concerning the senior police officer who was arrested in America and lost his U.S. visa and his belongings was confiscated and all that is going to link to Mohammed and the government, we are quickly going to address Melly Mel. This is a story circulated online that Mel Mel best friend is allegedly accusing or of trying to extort money from someone working at the housing ministry. We don't know if this is true or this story full of fiction. And why people said this story is true is because after the story bust, Mel Mel jump on on our Facebook live and trying to explain the whole situation. And by doing so, she end up admit. You need to go to Mel Mel page and hear our explanation. So that is what is taking place. Mel Mel and our friend Fallout, who is living in Guyana, who is gain contact for her and make money. But something go wrong and Mel Mel get exposed. We don't know if it's truth or lie. This is Guyanese News. Please subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section about Mel Mel story. Truth. Or than us making up stuff. Check out the person explaining how Mohammed, Caesar, and top echelons in the government link. And that is why Caesar was arrested. Because he have a lot of head and the belt. And he was arrested according to the news for paper sharks. And his recordings, his email, his text message, his WhatsApp. Everything is going to be confiscated. Even you delete it. The FBI have tools to recover your delete message and that is what this person is going to explain how Caesar is a very dangerous person to the government remember this is Guyanese news subscribe like and share they, they, they have they have been after investigation sorry they have been indicted allegations that they have been indicted by a US law enforcement agency a particular US law enforcement agency and I'm not sure whether any request was made for them to be extradited to the United States of America. And I say all of this to say that we don't know whether uh, Caesar, Mitchell Caesar, a senior member of the Guyana police force was questioned or was pulled in for fitness as a result of Azardin Mohammed. We do not know as a result of alleged connection to Azardin Mohammed and uh, allegations that Caesar and his crew rushed to cover up allegations again. And these allegations were made by uh, Detective Sergeant Bascom that there was a cover up in the murder 
of paper shorts. We don't know what's the line of questioning, but the senior cop Caesar needs to answer some serious questions. And I agree with uh, Wayne Caesar that when you have allegations, serious allegations level against senior cops, it demoralizes the entire police force and citizens lose trust and confidence in the police. And for the most part, that is how citizens are feeling right now. Do you see this getting any better, the police force that is, Mr. Caesar? Yes, Mark, I do foresee the police force getting better under a new government. Um, there's no chance that the police force could get better under this regime, Mark. This is not a government. Um, the PPPC is not a government. It's a group of installed gangsters. And with gangsters, nothing works out to be um, good and favorable to people. It was a massive mistake by the installers who would have installed them. I think all of them owe an apology to the Guyanese people because this has been very, very, very tough. When you have people sitting in government who doesn't understand government, who doesn't understand how it works, who doesn't understand the finances of you know, the operations of government, who doesn't understand oil and gas, you know, but remove experts that was there in place already managing the oil and gas fairly well and put people who are mismanaging the oil and gas sector. Come on, Mark. It's it's shameful. It's disgraceful. And all of this trickled down to the Guyana Police Force. The Guyana Police Force, Mark, is not independent. It should be independent. It is being used as a vessel to terrorize the people of Guyana. Over to corruption, you. Cor yeah, thank you. Corruption, corruption indeed. Uh, we are told that even the acting commissioner of police, uh, not sure how accurate it is, but maybe he should come out and say something. This is the acting commissioner of police uh, standing there with Azradin Mohammed, who is said to be wanted by U.S. law enforcement agencies, said to be wanted, by the way, uh, for serious allegations. But he doesn't care. He goes out, give out a little small house, give out a little something there in order to divert attention and to possibly uh, brainwash those little people that just give out, hand out from serious allegations that are leveled against him. Allegations, mind you. But yet the acting commissioner of police is comfortable. Uh, he doesn't mind. Uh, policemen and women don't mind lining up long lines waiting for a little 5,000 or 10,000 in front of uh, Mohammed's enterprise, uh, which is bad for any country, bad for democracy. And uh, we just cannot move forward as a nation like that. And so the question is, and maybe the acting commissioner of police needs to answer this, whether his visa has been revoked, his U.S. visa has been revoked as a result of, of his uh, connections to certain questionable characters, connections to certain questionable characters in Guyana. Um, what do you think of these sort of uh, connections, especially allegations of uh, corruption and so forth by a top cop? Allegations. Thing. It, it shows, it shows um, you know, collusion. You don't want that. You, you want police officers, especially those at the high and top level, to be independent. And they must be individuals of character because we're talking about dealing with an entire country, you know, from a policing perspective. So, you know, you have to understand the job. You have to understand the details and what the job entails. And I have seen that Mr. Hicken lack in a lot of areas Mark, and this is not good. And because he lacks and doesn't understand a lot about, you know, policing, he tends to hang out with anybody. And that's not a good look. When you have someone the likes of uh, Mr. Azruddin Mohammed, who have so many alleged, you know, crimes that's alleged against him, and you have the acting commissioner of police standing side by side with him. That is not a good look. I mean, Mark, I know a lot of times these guys claim to be friends, but we have to understand this, that we are not, you know, for Mr. Hicken, he needs to understand that he just cannot be his own man and do whatever he wants to do. 
you know he is the head of the Guyana police force he is the acting commissioner and he has to represent that seat correctly and that has not been done and and it doesn't surprise me because Mr. Hicken was placed there by who? By the PPPC regime. And we know what they stand for. So all these things, Mark, they all tie in together at the end. So nothing that's happening here. This photo doesn't surprise me in no way or form. All right. Uh, 39 minutes after 9 o'clock. Um, uh, let's see some other uh, matters that we can uh, touch on before the 10 o'clock hour. The teacher's strike seems to be over with. It's done with. Nothing else. Uh, these long lines in front of Freedom House where people were chased, like uh, like one person put it, chased like dogs out of the place. Uh, and this is not how you treat people at all. These people turn up uh, for something. They just give it to a uh, couple of their supporters and they chase these folks. Uh, we haven't heard anything back from this guy, Bitesh Gupta, who's said to be wanted according to uh, an arrest warrant by Interpol. Nothing at all, nothing about the connection between the wanted man and the um, the family of Irfan Ali and Irfan Ali himself. Nothing at all. We're not hearing much about the UN report. In fact, the UN report has... Leave your comment in the comment section and tell the country if you feel Caesar should be arrested on his arrival in Guyana. Because if the FBI arrests you two times, the Guyana police force should arrest you. We don't know if he's going to lose his job, but there is some questions need to be answered. And Caesar have those answers. And the only way is the Guyana police force and the legal authority should arrest Caesar. Or there is no trouble to this. Just allow it for doing the job. And Mel Mel's story. Is this truth or lie? This is Guyanese News. Press the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment in the comments.